It's a story of tragedy and heroism, of rescue, loss, and reclamation. It's a maritime drama that has become an indelible part of our local history here in Volusia County. Hi, this is Gary Davidson with Volusia County Community Information. And with the events occurring some 125 years ago, the deeply unfortunate loss of the Nathan F. Cobb, well, it might seem like ancient history, but now the Cobb story of sorrow and triumph has been brought back to life with this striking interpretive panel on display at the Cardinal Drive Beach Approach, right here in Ormond Beach, just yards from where the Nathan F. Cobb met its heartbreaking end. As you can see, the interpretive panel, it's really quite impressive. The panel combines photo and text to tell the fateful story of the Nathan F. Cobb. The first sentence, it immediately draws you in. 1,000 feet beyond this panel lies a buried surprise. One of the first things you notice on the panel is a remarkable image of the grounded ship right here on the shoreline of Ormond Beach. And the narrative, well, it tells the story of the Cobb from the maiden launch of the massive ship in 1890 at Rockland, Maine, to its catastrophic grounding in Ormond Beach just six years later. With its cargo of cross ties and lumber, the Cobb sailed out into the Atlantic on December 1st, 1896, from the port of Brunswick, Georgia, headed north to New York, but it never made it to its destination. An Atlantic gale battered the ship, and the high surf and winds pushed it south towards Florida. Two members of the crew perished after the enormous wooden craft nearly capsized in the storm. A third person died right here in Ormond Beach while desperately trying to save the crew. The rest of the schooner's crewmen eventually were saved, but the Cobb, well, it was a total loss. Another thing you'll notice in the panel right here in the upper right-hand corner is a photo of the Nathan F. Cobb Cottage. It's fashioned out of wood salvaged from the shipwreck, including some of the wood from the ship itself and some of its crossed high cargo. And you can also see the original nameplate here from the ship itself. Now the house, it looks a little different today, but it's still right there in its original location, about two miles from this spot. So let's go take a look. So I'm here at 137 Orchard Lane in Orm Beach, and this really is a very special location. In fact, it's an historic location because this is the Nathan F. Cobb Cottage. And here to tell us about it is Joyce Benedict with the Orm Beach Historical Society. So Joyce, what makes the Cobb Cottage so special? In fact, it really is very unique, isn't it? Yes, it is, Gary. It's very, very special. Uh, our Historical Society just inherited this just a few years ago, and it was built from a ship, which is very, very, very rare anywhere. We are very treasured, our Historical Society, to have this in our, in our presence, and the townsfolks really, really, really wanted to restore this and to keep this in a very special little area. Really wonderful gentleman by the name of Tom Massfeller uh, bought the property a few years ago and uh, restored it, put on a few things I'll show you later, and just really kept it up for, our, for us, for our Ormond Beach residents, and for future generations. Would you like to come in and take a look at our beautiful little cottage? That'd be great. We'd love to. Here's the mass broken off, folks, here, right here, and right here, okay. So she stayed afloat for four days. Here's the cottage. This is all made out of it. This is the original. This is probably taken around the early 1900s. Here's the original railings from that, from that ship, from the Nathan Cobb. Here's the original name. Uh, the man who built this cottage was Captain Billy Fagan, and he was an old sea captain, as you can tell by his boots and his character. Quite, a, quite an industrious and smart man. He decided, the city folk, after they, uh, the boat crashed on shore, they didn't know what to do with all that wood, these folks people, but uh, Billy did. Billy says, let's build a cabin. And that's exactly what he did. On the floor, it is still original. We believe it, she is pine. Uh, the Nathan Cobb, you can see the Nathan F. Cobb co actual name. This came from the actual boat. It's amazing, 1897, folks, to have this beautiful fireplace in such wonderful condition. The sense of history just sitting here is palpable. You can feel it, you can sense it. Uh, it's just really remarkable. So right there behind us at the ocean's edge is a sign marking the spot where the Nathan F. Cobb 
ran aground. In fact, remnants of the shipwrecked craft remained buried below the sandy ocean bottom. People who grew up in Ormond Beach recall seeing the buried ship exposed from time to time, notes Volusia County's public historian Tom Baskett, who designed the interpretive panel. So why don't you come on down and check it out and treat yourself to the ultimate double dose, a day in the sand and a step back into history, because you just never know when the Nathan F. Cobb is going to make its next appearance. Until then, I'll see you at the beach. <laughs>